a way to start the day off with this beautiful coffee that my dad got me. But Paso today, Kalaki. Rain's supposed to come in a few hours, so let's get moving. So we're on the first bit of the path now. We're just taking in all the lovely scenery, to be honest. A kilometre into the main trail, two kilometres into my trail. And then look at this, it's just opened up absolutely beautifully. We've got the start of the mountain range there. Wow. So four kilometers in, I'm wondering, when's the start, when's the incline gonna come? There is a, a bit of incline right there. So we're about six kilometers in now. Just navigated some stairs and some narrow passages like this. Can get quite busy with traffic. So you've either got to make your mind up whether you want to be polite or just go straight up the middle. There is some uh, rope and some uh, protection for less confident hikers. But look at this, amazing. Wow, this exposure is wicked. Some great views down here. Last 50 meters and then we can finally see the lake. Whoa. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Gonna have a little walk around now. It's perfect for the drones this is, so let me get the drone out and get some shots. Absolutely amazing. The water is like, it's like nothing I've ever seen. It's just, I can't comprehend it. I mean, it's supposed to be raining now, but it's holding off. I think, I think they're on my side. I'm gonna jinx it, but just a small interval for what is probably the fastest horse I've ever seen. And I'm back. That was a great little hike. Did it in about two hours, 45. All trails says to allow for four, which is fair enough. If you're taking your time, I can see it taking four. Allow plenty of time at the top for photos, just uh, unreal. I took a couple photos in here quickly, just so you can have a little look. But yeah, really recommend that, re recommend that trail. Also park for night spot, walk from there, adds an extra two kilometers, only an extra 20 minutes or so. Saves you messing around moving your van or anything. Just on the way down to Cortina, gonna get a Via Ferrata kit and if it is shit weather we're still gonna go for a Ferrata tomorrow or a hike but that is the current plans and then food. It currently feels very strange being in the right seat and not having a steering wheel. So made it up to Trecime car park and that was probably one of the hardest roads I've took the T4 up in but we made it come on and good morning everyone and today we are going to be looking around to the Chime we are just by looking over the Cadini de Miserina mountain range I'm gonna try and do the Ferrata but we'll see what happens with the weather but it is nine o'clock and it is actually starting to clear up already. Come on. The plan is to do the Trecime circuit. If we can, we'll do the Ferrata to Monte Paterno. It's all just weather dependent really. So let's go. So just starting the hike towards Refugio Lavaredo. Uh, I'm gonna do it in an anti-clockwise direction just by following some guidance online. 
and um, we're already at the foot of the mountains at 2333 meters also the toilets are one euro at the car park just bear that in mind as well so that's where i currently are going up to the saddle and then one ferrata to here switch ferrata to monte paterno and then carry on with the path so now at the saddle and you can kind of see it's clearing up a little bit you can kind of see a gully going straight through and then you've got Fechime in the back and the national park down there so let's get moving so this is an italian world war tunnel and we're gonna go have a little look what's inside it's about 1.5 meters high <laughs> that can't be the way surely <laughs> so just made it out the tunnel and this is where the ferrata starts it looks a lot worse than it is but it's not too bad the first bit that's the first bit of the ferrata done through that little tunnel around the ledge and now we're off the tourist track and got it all to ourselves you're good yeah. wow Amazing, we're all to ourselves as well. This is beautiful. Two thousand six hundred and fifty meters, and now we've got the ascent up this little bad boy here. <laughs> okay, this is where the path splits up to the right and you come down through the left apparently you see the red markers just got off the cables and now you just got this rocky scramble up to the summit i think so you can see last little bit oh. monte paterno completed beautiful 2744 meters Wow, you can't see much, but there's a massive drop down there and you just got to imagine Trey Chime in the background, but still, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Successful little descent, nothing too technical. Just got to be careful with the slippy rocks, but some good wire, good protection. Now we're going to continue around the mountains to the next refugio. This side of the mountains, it's completely clear, but the other side, I just couldn't see anything. Tried throwing the drone up and it just got piss wet through, couldn't see shit. So <laughs> going to make our way down to the next refugio. Let's go. At the minute, just walking along the high peaks and just getting some absolutely amazing views. So that is the peak we're on top of. Now in the valley, it's clearing up a little bit and we're heading down the side, just following the path to the refugio. And then we're gonna loop back round counterclockwise around Trey Chime, back to the main refugee. So still got quite a bit to go, but it's absolutely beautiful. You love that one, don't you? Mm -hmm. You hate them, can I have them?
now just headed down from the hut which is up there and then making our way back to Telechime which is over the valley over there. I'll see you once we get to the other side of the valley. Just made it to Tadaizinan Hutta or Trechime hut just as the rain started. But now you can actually see Trechime and annoyingly that is where we were earlier and now you can actually see it. Trechime <laughs> de Lavaredo. Now we've just got to hike all day around the side back to the refugio. And after getting soaked for the last hour and a half, made it back to the vans. Yeah, gonna have a little look at the Kadini, the Miserina viewpoint, but it's basically in them clouds, so not looking too promising, but we'll soon see. Well, after battling the weather, brutalizing our bodies, I even thought for the content, I'll go to the Kadina de Miserina viewpoint and I'll put a photo up now of what it should look like and now this is what I can see <laughs> I'm just going to get back to the van now get dry get down to the Ferrata shop to give back Clara's gear and then shower and food that is the plan no viewpoint from Kadini no viewpoint from Monte Paterno, but amazing day nonetheless. It is quarter past six and we started walking today at half past nine. What a long day. Apparently there's some local warm showers, so I'm gonna go check that out. And you couldn't see yesterday, but this is probably the steepest road I've ever brought the bus up. I had to do first gear for about half of it. So if you're planning on coming up to Trechime car park, it's an amazing spot but a van like mine be willing to nearly burn the clutch out and just be careful. Underneath the Olympic ice hockey stadium, there's apparently some showers. I'm just trying to find them. I think this is it. Two euros a spin. So much fresher now, so much fresher. There's just most random things all over Europe, you know. Under the Olympic stadium, you can pay two euros to have a hot shower. But after probably about 20 kilometers today, still got to work it out. By the time this video comes, I'll put the, the route on and all the things like that. But I reckon it was about 20 kilometers to so lots of uh, calories to consume now. So gonna go for some pizza, two pizzas in three days. I don't care when in Italy, you gotta make the most of it, so. Oh man. It's half nine, had to get an espresso just so I could drive to the park up. So that's me for tonight. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. That's gonna be the end of this video. I was gonna keep recording and go for more, but this video would have been like an hour long. So I'm currently in real time in some remote town in Bulgaria. You got a few videos to go until then though. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've watched this far, I really appreciate you taking your time to stick all the way through. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more solo van life adventures. And if you're a repeat watcher, I really appreciate you sticking around. See you guys on the next one, peace. Oh. <laughs>